Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back. So today I'm going to give you guys a review on the new Kosas Revealer Concealer. I wanted to discuss this with all of you because I did get some questions on Instagram about it. Uh, quite a few of you were excited as well as myself when I saw the launch of it because if you follow me on Instagram, at Makeup by Josephine, then you know that I absolutely love the Kosas Tinted Face Oil, okay? And I've been wearing it religiously, like the entire fall and winter season. So for those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Josephine Fusco. I'm a certified professional makeup artist based out of New York, and I welcome you to my channel. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you'll always be in the know of videos that come up, and you can also follow me on my blog at glowandglam.net. So, Let's get into the review today of this Kosas Revealer Concealer because I was just so excited when I saw this launch. So, this comes in 16 shades. And if you know uh, anything about Kosas, it's a clean beauty brand. If you've been following me for a while here on my channel, you know that I have really dove in with clean beauty brands because it's super important as women that in the beauty industry, we really know what we're putting on our skin every day uh, because we have all these endocrine disruptors. This is something that I talk about religiously when I do makeup or when someone wants to learn about skincare or if someone wants to learn about essential oils. These are things that I discuss all the time. Okay, and you'll hear me discuss it a lot more on my Instagram page because in my stories, I'm constantly filtering out information there. So don't forget to come there. So this concealer retails for $28. Like I said, it comes in 16 shades. And basically the way to pick out the shade that matches you is to go with the shade that you use on the tinted face oil. So for me, when I first started with Kosas, I think it was over a year ago, um, I went with the tinted face oil in shade three and four. Um, I was a cross between the two. So at the time they didn't have the half colors. Um, so I went and got both three fit me perfect, like almost perfect. If four was like a tinge, a little high, high uh, dark for me. So I mixed the two together and it was perfect. So you don't have to do that, but whatever your preference is. Now you can watch my full review on the Kosas Tinted Face Oil. I'll drop a link down below. Make sure to go check that out. Now, this is supposed to be a medium to full coverage concealer. And if you know anything about Kosas, great clean beauty brands. I wanna just read a little bit to you off of the uh, foundation, uh, uh, regarding the concealer here. So it says, this is a medium to full coverage clean concealer that actually improve, improves the appearance of your complexion to reveal better skin because it contains all these botanicals inside the product itself. It reduces the look of dark circles, blemishes, but still fully looks like your skin, which is very true and you're gonna see that in the demo. Um, it's packed with potent botanicals that nourish and also give the smooth a radiant finish, super creamy, super brightening, and it's like a light bulb for your skin. So there are a lot of people, I'm gonna to touch base on this, there are a lot of people that like to use a concealer as a, funda as a foundation, especially when you're not wearing a ton of makeup um, and you just like to take concealer drop it where you want it blend it in and you're done and you're good to go for your skin this is going to be a great concealer for those of you this is also going to be a great concealer for those of you that want a clean concealer with the coverage okay this is going to offer you great coverage in a concealer I feel that it starts off as light coverage depending on how you apply it some people like to apply concealer and dabble it like so thick under the skin. I don't like to do it that way. I like to start a little bit and then keep building up on the concealer. So I would say it can go from light to medium initially and then from medium to almost full coverage because even though I feel I got great coverage, um, I can't say it's, I can't say like it's like super full because I have other full coverage concealers that would be more than this. So for those of you that really like concealer, but don't want it to be overdone and look funny on the skin, you're gonna love this concealer. I can tell you that right now. So some of the ingredients on here are caffeine, pink algae, peptides, and arnica. These are gonna be powerhouses for under your eye to brighten, to help with swelling or puffiness, um, and to give you the nutrients that it really needs in that area. Now you know that skincare is my jam. I always talk about skincare. I love it, and I love when products come out with skin-loving ingredients. Now, it's important that what goes in your body, okay, because that's what's gonna fuel your skin to look so good, but what's nice is when we have products like this that actually perform, have really good ingredients, so it's like a double whammy. So, without further ado, 
Let's just get right into the demo so I can show you guys how great this concealer looks on the skin. All right, so I'm gonna start with the foundation. I'm gonna do a little chit chat as we're doing this so that you guys can see how I apply everything, right? So if you follow me on Instagram at Makeup by Josephine, you'll see that I have been using the Kosas Tinted Face Oil almost every day, especially during the fall and the winter. I gravitate towards this one really well, but this is such a great everyday foundation. So I'm gonna go in with the shade four. I have shade three and I used to mix them together um, but I like it when my foundation is just a tiny bit um, deeper than my natural skin tone uh, because I feel like it matches very well with my neck and my chest. Um, and also you can always lighten up your face um, if you feel your foundation is a tad bit deep with a lighter concealer. So you can put this on your hands. You can put it, some people apply with a beauty blender. Watch my full review to know why I truly love this and I'll put a link down below. But I'll just show you, you can just do like a couple drops like this. One, two, three, and four, right there, okay? And then I'm just gonna take my fingers and I'm going to start to blend it into the skin. What I love so much about this foundation is that it's easily blendable this way. Now, typically when I wear foundation, I don't always bring so much underneath the under eye um, because I like the concealer to do its job. But sometimes when you have like a thinner consistency foundation, I'll do it. It just depends on the mood that I'm in. So I'll take my fingers and I'll just tap a little bit in. So for the sake of this video, typically when it comes to concealers, I would only apply to my under eye. But because I'm gonna use some other products, um, I'm gonna take the concealer and I'm gonna apply it to my upper lid first. And I'm gonna show you the difference in eyes before I go to um, the lower lid. So as you guys know, I picked up shade three and I'm just gonna put a drop, just like that. And I'm gonna use this as a base for my eyeshadow. I'm just gonna take my ring finger and I'm gonna see how like the pigment is on it, how nice and strong it is, but it's not cakey. It's definitely a different consistency from the foundation. It's definitely not that oily consistency. It has that creamy texture to it, but a little bit more liquidy than um, a thick, creamy consistency. Like Fit Glow is a thick, creamy consistency on the concealer. This isn't. It's like an in-between a liquid and a cream. The only thing, it doesn't have that liquid uh, texture to it. So I'm hoping that the camera is going to pick up the difference. So you see how it already brightens my eye here uh, and how much it opens it up and how nice the concealer looks. So this is gonna be the base for the rest of my eye look. And I'm not gonna go too crazy on the eyes because for everyday look, um, I don't like to do too much. So now let's go to the other eye. I'm gonna let that sit for a minute and I'm gonna do my brows. I typically don't do it this way, but I do want to apply the Kosas eyeshadow, um, but I'm gonna do my brows first, first so that the concealer can kind of stay put on my eyelid. So you know I have a ton of brow tutorials on my channel, so you can shift through them and see which one works the best for you. I don't typically like a very um, uh, shaped brow like where it looks almost boxy but I like my brow to be filled in and to just basically go with what I have and uh, just give a nice shape follow through with the shape that I have so I'm gonna go in with the 10 second eyeshadow from Kosas this is gonna be in the shade Globe. I'm gonna give you guys a swatch, and I'll tell you, they never really fail me when it comes to products because they're, they're really good. Um, so let me give you a swatch on my wrist so that you guys could see the coloring. My skin's a little dry right now, but you know that how much I love Earth Tones. Earth Tones are one of the favorite shades for me to go with on myself as well as on my clientele. I mean, I love a pop of color, don't get me wrong, but look how beautiful this eyeshadow is. And they have a few different shades. And you can see it looks very liquidy in the, uh, in the bottle, in the tube. 
But to me, I find earth tones to be just flattering on everyone. That's why I kind of gravitate towards them more. Um, and I feel like it really brings forth the beauty in someone. So let's go and put some on. So I'm going to apply it to my lid first. And I just want it to be that you guys can see it right. So um, I'm going to go here right at the top. It goes on wet, but then this is going to dry. Uh, it's going to stay dry. Now, you can leave it like this. I kind of tested it out in Sephora. I'm going to take a little bit extra on my finger, and I'm going to actually tap it on. If you have an eyeshadow brush that's flat and you would like to use that to apply it, you can do that as well. But you don't necessarily have to. And they say that within 10 seconds that this sets, and you're good to go. The staying power yesterday that I experienced in Sephora was great. So I was pretty happy with it. So this is one coat and it's just very subtle and it, it really, I have to say the pigment on these are really good. Um, I, if you guys want like a swatch on them, I'd like for me to just kind of discuss this closest 10 second eyeshadow, comment below and let me know uh, if it's something that you're interested in. But the pigment on them is so just like, it's beautiful. Like this is something I would use all the time. I mean, if anything, you could put like a little something in the crease to deepen it up a little bit, but you don't really need it. So for mascara, I'm going to go in with the Fit Glow Beauty Mascara. If you follow me on Instagram, you've heard me talking about this one. I love it. it has this awesome little wand. The mascara I love because it gives me nice length and it has nourishment for the lashes itself. And that's what I love about it. Not putting anything uh, toxic on my lids, which is important to me. So I hope the camera can pick, you know, capture this. But you see here versus here. How nice. All right. So now we are going to go in with the concealer. Let me give you a swatch of shade three on the palm of my hand so you guys can see it. Shade three. And if you take a look at the applicator, it's that doe foot applicator. I'm gonna do this side versus this side so that you guys can see the difference, okay? Now, typically when I start with a concealer, less is more, and then we're gonna build. Typically that's what I do. So like for an everyday look, this is as much as I would probably put on and then eventually just disperse it with my ring finger. So, <clears throat> If you follow me on Instagram, you know that when I talk about concealers that are wet, like this liquid type of um, texture, I like to let them sit a little bit, <clears throat> even creamy, um, before I blend them out. But for today, I'm just going to go right in, and you're going to see now how it spreads out, okay? Now, totally different texture from the face oil, but it has almost like... The, the way that the face oil sits on the skin, this is gonna sit just like that, but maybe let's just say a little bit more, um, not matte, it's, it's just not gonna be as oily. Concealer, no concealer. Concealer, no concealer, okay? So it gives you coverage without overdoing it. So it's gonna be like a light coverage, maybe to a little bit of medium. So for those of you that don't like a lot of concealer, you're gonna love this. And for those of you that like a little extra coverage, you're gonna love this too. So I'm gonna go into the other side. Same thing, just a little bit there. And I'm gonna take my ring finger, we're gonna blend this guy in. The coverage is really nice. This to me is the type of concealer that I can wear every single day, or even if I'm getting a little bit dressed up and I want to not overdo the concealer on myself. What's nice about this concealer too is you can probably blend it very well with the tinted face oil and disperse it all over the face. So you can use this with the tinted face oil, like I just said, or if you get two shades, you can go a little bit deeper and apply it to the skin uh, and use this as your everyday face foundation. So for argument's sake, I'm gonna go over it and I'm gonna add a little bit more. So now we're going to just drop it down. This is another way 
you can do concealer is to come down a little bit to highlight and brighten this area a little bit here here and here again I'm going to take my ring finger and I'm going to start to blend this in my advice for you guys is that if you're going to go in with a beauty blender the beauty blender is going to thin it out so as much as I like the beauty blender I don't love it for everything especially when you're dealing with foundations and concealers like this I find that when I see people on YouTube or beauty bloggers talking about how they're blending it out with the beauty blender I feel like you're doing a disservice to this type of foundation and to this type of concealer because I don't feel that it's going to give you what you're looking for and it's going to sh shear it out even more. I mean, how much more sheer can you get than the tinted face oil uh, with that type of coverage? I, I just feel like you, you wind up ruining the product. So, you know, I wouldn't suggest it. I love the ring finger. Otherwise, you can go in with like a Sigma Precision brush and you can actually tap it in. But for something like this, go in with your fingers, guys. And remember, you always want to use your ring finger. I cringe when I see people using their index finger to put on their concealer and stuff because it's such a tough finger to use on this delicate area of the face. So anyway, we're gonna, and what you can do is drag it up just a little bit, keep tapping, and bring it up down the nose. If you feel like highlighting there, I typically don't do too much on my nose. And if you want, just tap in right here. And this will brighten and open up this area. So I'm going to go in with blush. And I'm going to take this from Fit Glow Beauty. This is from their night palette. Then I'm going to take Crunchy. And this is their highlighter in Afterglow. You've been seeing me discuss this one because I literally like love it it's just I don't know it's just so pigmented it's perfect give a nice glow to the skin bring a little bit down here go right into the brow bone so pretty for lips I'm gonna go in with angelic uh, this is from clove and hollow So my final thoughts on this product is that I think it's great. I, I really think that this is very different from other clean beauty concealers that I have. You know, depending if it's a concealer that's in the pot or if it's another creamy uh, concealer, because I find that even though it's a little creamy texture, as you heard me discuss in the, in the demo, is that it almost has that liquid feel to it when it goes on the skin. So you're gonna get a little bit of both worlds. Um, it's going to melt into the skin the way the tinted face oil melts into the skin. So you're going to see that as well. And um, I don't like to apply primers or powders after I put my uh, products on because I feel that the beauty of the skin should come out uh, without it. Sometimes powders can mask and alter the consistency um, as well as the texture of concealers on the skin. So I'm not such a huge fan of having powders on them. So for me, do I feel like it brightened? Absolutely. Is this a great everyday concealer? Absolutely. So, you know, for me, I would totally go out and purchase this. So Sephora does carry it. I went yesterday. I couldn't wait. Um, I was trying to get there two days ago, but I couldn't get there. Um, let me know your thoughts. Did you guys try it yet? Did you like it? How did you feel about it? And hop on over to the gram and you're going to see me talk about it more there and in my story. So I'll meet you guys there. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys all in my next video.